Aiming to combat the obesity epidemic in New York, Governor David Patterson has recommended an 18 percent tax on sugar-sweetened soft drinks and a few other sweetened beverages. Unfortunately, the proposed tax is inconsistent with the facts about what causes obesity. It also sets an alarming precedent for taxing foods deemed bad by government officials, further increasing the cost of living in the state, particularly for the least affluent citizens. First, there is no scientific basis for singling out sugar-sweetened soda or certain fruit drinks as the primary underlying causes of obesity. So many Americans these days exceed their ideal weight because they consume too many calories from all types of food and beverages and do not dedicate sufficient time to burning calories through exercise. Sugar-sweetened soda doesn't make you fatter than eating too much meat, bread, potatoes, or anything else. There's an old adage, for every complex problem, there's a simple solution, and it never works. And that comes to mind here. It's always easier to zero in on one alleged villain and assume that the problem is solved. Second, taxing soda sets up a precedent for taxing myriad foods, considered bad by the popular wisdom. Can we expect taxes next on cake, cookies, candy, and pizza? If food with high sugar or fat content is bad and deserving of punitive regulatory action, to be consistent, will we tax orange juice, which is very high in sugar, and avocados, a plentiful source of fat? Should we tax everything except tofu and spinach? Third, when the soda tax is examined closely, Given that it will have zero net effect on reducing obesity, it must be perceived as just another attempt to raise revenue for a financially strapped state. The governor estimates that the soda tax will bring in about $400 million the first year and over $500 million thereafter. What's not to like about that if you're trying to balance the budget? But the bad news is that this influx of cash will have nothing to do with fighting obesity and enhancing health. There is, however, some good news about the proposed soda tax. Polls show that New Yorkers oppose this useless and regressive tax by nearly two to one. Presumably, citizens recognize that obesity is a very serious health risk requiring serious solutions, not quick, ineffective regulatory fixes. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Whelan of the American Council on Science and Health.